In this tutorial, we will show you the wiring procedure of a FlexMax 100 AFCI charge controller. Note, all wiring is based on Outback's Quick Start Guide wiring section. Perform wiring and practices in accordance to Article 690 of the National Electric Code. To access the FM100 AFCI wiring compartment, remove the two Phillips screws. Torque wire lugs and ground terminals to 35 inch pounds. Ensure all source breakers are in the off position before any wiring is done. Connect all earth ground wires from battery, PV, and all others that apply. The maximum permitted conductor size for connection to the grounding wire terminal block is number six wire. Note, the FM100 AFCI uses a jumper to create a negative to ground bond that enables the built-in ground fault detection and interruption circuit through the GFDI fuse. If an external GFDI is used, or if the controller will be in a positive ground system, this jumper must be removed. Failure to do so will damage your controller. Connect the battery negative conductor, followed by the positive, and torque the terminals. It is recommended to use a number four wire minimum, but it may accept up to a number two. Connect PV array negative conductor and ensure it is not connected in the negative common point of the system. It must be isolated. Then connect positive conductors through the sensing coil in a cross pattern and up to the terminals. Next, ensure the external cooling fan is connected. Connect the remote temperature sensor if it applies, communications cable to hub or device. From the accessories terminal block, connect any rapid shutdown device, auxiliary output, and battery sense wire leads. You are all done. Thank you for watching.